Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the beginning of our pinwheel pillow graph that I am going to help you with. Um, first of all, the ink is almost out of my printer, so my graph didn't print really well. But um, we're not going to use the graph in our actual um, thing. We're going to use the written pattern that I write. But I want to show you how to read a graph because not everyone does the written like I do. Um, when you, this is the graph, what it looks like. See if I can get it all on here. Um, our pattern is 55 wide. This is the width. And it's also 55 tall, so it's 55 square. And you can make a pillow, or it can be a wall hanging, or some people like to use these. Um, we call them quilt blocks, or Tammy, she likes to call them crow quilts. And I believe that's what Michelle calls them also. Um, they're really good for all kinds of things. They come around this size. We do them in several different sizes, but you can crochet them together and make several different things. Um, this is the pinwheel. What we're gonna do, this is three colors that I have chosen. You can do any color that you like. I'm doing gray beard, hot rose, and soft pink. And these are in the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And when you do go to read a graph, you always start in this bottom right corner. And this first row is row one right here. So when you get my written pattern and it says row one, this is what we're talking about. And when you read row one, which is an odd row, I'm going to write odd because you know that row that one is an odd number. You're going to read from right to left. You always read the odd numbers from right to left, the even numbers from left to right if you are doing regular single crochet. So what you do is you're going to count every single square. Whoops, every square is one stitch. So, this dark pink is called Hot Rose. So, you can see that every one of this row one is the same color. So, this is 55 of the Hot Rose. Now, before you can do that, you have to make your chain. So, if you think back to my How to Single Crochet, you know that if this is 55 stitches across how many do you have to chain you have to chain one more right so you have to chain 56 so chain 56 okay so you're going to chain 56 in this hot rose because it's going to be your beginning color that you're going to start single crocheting in now, you don't have to use hot rose. You can use your three favorite colors. I just liked these colors. So, whatever your beginning color is, you're going to chain 56. Now, after you chain those 56, you are going to single crochet 55 of the hot rose or your favorite color for the dark. Okay, so you've done that. Now we're going to be on row two. So you're going to mark out row one. You can have a highlighter. You can use a pencil. I'm going to use the pencil and I'm going to mark through. So now I've marked through and I'm going to write a number two because I'm going up to row two. See how I've just marked that out? It's good to have like highlighters. Those show up really good. I just don't happen to have one right now. So row two is an even number. So you always read even numbers from left to right, okay? Now, if you forget this, draw yourself a little arrow and know that odd is from right to left, even from left to right. 
and make yourself a little arrow. You know, when I first started out, I would put an arrow on every single line so that I knew exactly which way to go because if you don't, you may think that you're going to remember, but honestly, you're not going to. I mean, I don't care how smart you are or how much you think you're going to remember, you will forget at some point. You'll start watching TV or your kid's going to come and ask you a question or your dog is going to bark or something's going to happen and you're not going to remember where you're at or you're going to forget something because it is just so easy to get distracted and forget. And so that's why the written instructions are so good and why we love to give them to you guys because it is just so much easier. I mean, I had no idea before I started doing them myself how much easier it was because I used to do this. I had to, you know, read the graph just like this. So, I mean, we don't we don't care for y'all to go to other graphers, you know, and get your stuff, but I mean... I know that a lot of them do not give the written like we do for free with our patterns and it's just a lot of work to do this when you know you can just say row one and we've got it all written out for you. So anyway, number two, row two, you're going to read from left to right and you can see that this is all hot rows just like row one was. So you know that that's 55, so you don't even have to count it. I mean, it's, it's you know, obvious. So go ahead and single crochet 55 hot rows, and I'm going to mark that out. And I'm going to write number 3, and I'm going to put a little arrow because I'm going to go that way. So when you get that done, we're going to go this way. Now is when it starts getting fun. So now we're on row three, and we've got some color changes coming up. So now, we only have two hot rows. So you're going to go, you're going to crochet two hot rows, and then, I'm going to put a little two right there. Then you're going to have to count how many of the soft pink. So one, Two, let's see if I can stabilize my paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, thirty, two, one, two, three, thirty-four. Thirty-four. Let me show you an easier way. Okay. I don't know if you can see in the camera. Do you see these dark lines? Each one of those have 10 in between. So 10, 20, 30. There was one going past it there. Two, three, four. Would have been a lot easier, right? But I didn't want to complicate you. So, you know, I counted each square. So there's 34 of the soft pink so you would change colors which I will show you how to do in the video when we start doing that when we actually crochet this is just the pre crocheting stuff getting it out of the way showing you how to read the actual graph so there will be um, 34 of the soft pink so then I know this looks kinda green with pink going through it but it's actually gray beard so we're going to count and see how many gray beard we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen gray beard. And I'm not positive I counted those right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It never hurts to go back and double check because it is just so easy to mix up. Okay, so then you'll have 16 gray beard, and then you only have one pink, so that's pretty simple. And then two of the hot rows, and then that completes row three. So you can mark out row three when you have finished crocheting row three. So we're going to mark that out. And we're going to move to row four, and I'm going to put myself a little arrow. So we have row four, 
and you're just going to repeat this. So then you would go from left to right and so you would start counting this way and you would count that way. So I'm not going to make the video any longer. I think that you probably get the point. If you do have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Just give me a thumbs up if you like the video and if you do have questions, just comment. Um, feel free to join my group. I will be, you know, crocheting this every bit of it myself and showing you step by step how to do the color changes, you know, as clearly and easily and slowly as I can because I know how hard and frustrating it can be. So I'm going to do everything. I will start that next week. So get those colors, any three colors that you like. And like I said, join my Facebook group. It's free. We have different events once you get used to doing this. We have mystery crochet alongs. We have regular crochet alongs. We have all different kinds of graphs. I give out free graphs every now and then. Um, there's tons of people in there to answer questions. I'm in there all the time. I answer questions. Um, there's Michelle from um, Cuddly Creations. She's in there, and she um, she also does graphs. And then Tammy Del Guzzo, she does graphs. Um, we just have a great bunch of folks in there. So feel free to come and visit us, and have a great day. Thank you.